vertebrates, fish and amphibians. Fish. Fish are the biggest group of vertebrates. Fish can live in rivers. Fish can live in lakes. Fish can live in the sea. Reproduction. Most fish are oviparous. Some fish keep their eggs in their mouths until they hatch. Nutrition. Fish can be carnivores, herbivores or omnivores. Respiration. They breathe with their gills. Physical characteristics. They have fins and a tail, which help them move around. Their skin is covered in scales, which protect their body. How do fish breathe? Water goes into their gills. These separate the dissolved oxygen from the water. This oxygen is then absorbed inside the gills and goes into the fish's blood. This is why fish need water to breathe. The fish In almost all the places where you can find water, be it either salt water or fresh water, you can also find fish. They are fish of all sorts of sizes, shapes and colors, and yet they all have common characteristics, which you should know. Fish are vertebrates. Their skeleton is made up of bones or cartilage. They are also cold-blooded. Their temperature is not constant, meaning it depends on the water temperature. This fish looks really cold. All fish have extremities in the form of fins, as you can see in this image. Dorsal fins, caudal fins, which is its tail, pectoral fins, pelvic fins, and anal fin. Another really important fact that one must remember is that almost all fish are covered in scales. The gills are the fish's respiratory organ. The respiration process is very interesting. Water enters through the mouth and goes to the gills. The gills then collect the oxygen and distribute it to the rest of the body through the blood vessels. Then the water is expelled through an opening which can be found in the majority of the fish behind their head, which is called the gill flap. Fish reproduce by laying eggs. Therefore, they are oviparous, and their fertilization can be either external or internal. Some fish are excellent fathers, like this one who protects his babies inside his mouth. He looks as if he's going to eat them, but he's actually protecting them. Look at that! Isn't it amazing? Almost all fish are carnivores, eating other fish smaller than themselves, and therefore they each have different ways of defending themselves. The most common action to take is when feeling threatened is to escape as fast as possible, as in to swim away rapidly. But there are other ways of defending oneself that are much more original. For example, this clownfish finds to hiding himself among these venomous enemies. Others imitate or camouflage themselves with their background by obtaining the color and shape of the plants and rocks around them. Can you see this fish in the image? Well, there was indeed a fish, and a very hungry one. Look at this. This is the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. Even though it is called a whale shark, you must remember it is actually a shark, not a whale. Whales are not fish. 
they are aquatic animals, like these friendly dolphins. So never forget, whales and dolphins are not fish, but mammals. Now I have a very important fact you must always remember. It's extremely important. As you already know, fish, as well as many other animals, live in the water. Water is essential for life. And for this reason, we must look after it. We must protect it. There are people who dirty nature by throwing rubbish into the rivers and oceans without thinking about their terrible consequences they're causing. The plastics and substances which contaminate the water kill a huge amount of fish. Turtles, dolphins, whales, sharks, and many more die every day because of contamination. Water is a source of life. We must take care of it and protect it. So now you know. Look after nature and all living things, and they can live happily. Amphibians. Amphibians. Amphibians live near water or in damp places. They live part of their lives in water, and part of their lives on land. Reproduction. Amphibians are oviparous. They lay their eggs in water. Baby amphibians do not look like adult ones. The babies live and grow in the water. They change through metamorphosis, and grow into adults. Nutrition. Most amphibians are carnivores. They eat small vertebrates, such as mice, and invertebrates, such as worms. Respiration. Baby amphibians breathe with their gills. Adults breathe with their lungs, and can also absorb oxygen through their skin. Physical characteristics. Most amphibians have four limbs. They all have moist skin. Frogs have webbed feet that help them swim. The life cycle of a frog. One. An adult frog lays eggs. Two. The babies hatch. They are called tadpoles. Three. Tadpoles develop back legs. Four. Then they develop front legs. Five. They start to lose their tail. Six. They lose their tail and leave the water. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to look at a truly amazing group of vertebrates. When they're born, they usually live in water, but when they grow up and become adults, they spend most of their time on land. We present the amphibians. All amphibians have some common characteristics that you should know about, so you can recognize and differentiate them. Amphibians have thin, bare skin with no hairs and scales to protect them. Most have four legs and a membrane between their toes that allows them to move much better in the water. Amphibians are oviparous but they don't incubate their eggs after laying them. They abandon them and don't care for their young. Not very good parents, huh? When they hatch, they're small larvae and live in water. 
slowly, very slowly, their bodies go through a process called metamorphosis. During this process, the body of the amphibian changes. Their front and rear legs, their limbs grow. And their heads and their bodies develop, so they finally look like their parents. In the early stages of their lives, amphibians breathe through gills. But when they grow up and become adults, they breathe with their lungs. The problem is, their lungs are very small and cannot get all the oxygen they need to live. But nature is very clever and has solved this problem by allowing them to breathe and get the oxygen they need through their skin. That's why they need to be near water to keep their skin wet. In the early stages of their life, some amphibians are herbivores, but when they grow up, most become carnivores. So they need to hunt. Some have a long, sticky tongue they shoot out to capture prey. Aren't amphibians fascinating and also a bit strange? <laughs> 